It's unitus. In CGS unit. CGS unit. In CGS unit, this can be written as calorie per Kelvin or EU. Entropy unit. In SA unit system, this can be written as Joule per Kelvin or capital EU. Understood the idea? The unit of entropy in CGS unit is calorie per Kelvin or small e. In SA unit can be written as JK power minus 1 or capital EU. Here, 1 is small EU equal to, that is the relation. 1 EU can be written as 4.184 capital EU. This is the relation between these two. As I have told you, entropy has been represented by S. Entropy is represented by S. S can be written as Q by T, where Q is the heat energy and T is the temperature. This is the formula for entropy. I have told you that delta S is called as entropy change. In front of any of the variable, if you put delta, which indicates that, it's a change. Change change occurs over this, delta S. Suppose you are measuring the delta S at 25 degrees C, it is called standard entropy change. The standard entropy change has been represented by this symbol by putting one circle, degree like mark on the top. It is called entropy change at the standard condition, standard. Then, suppose the entropy change delta S means S2 minus S1. Entropy of final state minus entropy of initial state. Next title is Troughton's rule. Troughton's rule. The Troughton's rule claims that suppose delta S vaporization is there. Delta S vaporization. Delta S vaporization means Entropy change in the case of vaporization. This can be written as the ratio between delta H of vaporization by Tb. Delta H of vaporization means enthalpy change of vaporization. When one mole of water is evaporated, you can find delta S. It is called delta S vaporization. Delta H Enthalpy change of vaporization. When does a liquid vaporize? At a boiling point. That's why TB. If you do all the work, the result will be 21 calorie per degree per moon. This statement is called Troughton's rule. The delta H vaporization can also be called as latent heat of vaporization. In your textbook, 19th question, in your textbook, 19th question, problem, they asked the question based on this. What is the entropy change of an engine that operates under degree C? So, delta S can be written as delta Q by delta T, likewise. Then, 20th question is also based on this, merely formula substitution. Then, from this Troughton's rule, some liquid may deviate. They are called the liquid, that is the substance which can deviate from the Troughton's rule. For example, liquid helium, likewise. I have told you that in any of the reaction, you can measure standard value. The standard value, suppose one compound is there. 
Delta S naught means entropy, standard value of entropy change. F means formation of compound equal to summation of all the standard entropies of compound minus summation of all the entropies of element. This is the formula used to measure entropy change when a compound is formed. The free energy, delta G, I have told you. Capital G is called free energy change. This can be represented as H minus Ps. Where G is the free energy, H is the enthalpy, T is the temperature, Yes is the entropy. This is the relation between enthalpy and free energy functions. Suppose the entropy change occurs over a system and surroundings as well as universe. Suppose you are considering any part of the universe for studying. For example, water is boiling in one vessel. You are considering water boiling in a vessel as a system. Then, all the objects other than the water in the system is called surroundings. Some of the system and surrounding is called universe. So, what they are telling is, entropy change of universe equal to entropy change of system plus Entropy change of surroundings. Since the sum of surroundings and system is called as universe, we can write like this. Then next concept is net work. Total work. What is that? Total work. Net work. Net here means total, the total work. Whenever your work has been done, the free energy of the system has been utilized. Suppose a molecule is moving. Why it is moving? How it is moving? By using its energy. Its in internal energy changes. While doing the work, internal energy of the system changes. That's why we are putting minus in front of that. So, minus delta G can be written as W minus P delta V. W means work. P means pressure. Delta V means change in volume. This all. I have told you standard value. Standard value means Anything measured at 25 degrees C. Standard enthalpy free energy can be written as H naught minus T S naught. The naught, the power as degree like symbol indicates that they are in standard state. So G naught equal to H naught minus T delta S naught. Apart from the various statement of second law of thermodynamics, they are asking characteristics of uh, entropy. Characteristics of entropy, as I have told you. Entropy is a state function. State function means which determine the state. And delta S can be written as delta Q by T. Entropy increases in all spontaneous reactions. So we can call entropy as a measure of disorderness. The total change in the entropy system, as I have told you, the total change in the system plus total entropy change in the surrounding is nothing but total entropy change in the universe. Characteristics of entropy is a five more question as well as characteristics of free energy, what I have thought so far, or another 5 mark question. So from this chapter, there is the possibility of three 5 mark questions. One is various statement of second law of thermodynamics, then characteristics of entropy, then
characteristics of free energy. So, the thermodynamics chapter 2, the unit 9, thermodynamics 2 is over.